I'm doing well, and welcome to my 2020 Philadelphia Eagles season prediction. About um, a couple of weeks ago, the Eagles released their schedule for the 2020 season, and today I'll be breaking it down. Do I think they'll win or lose? So let's start out in week one as the Eagles travel Washington to face the Redskins. The Eagles have been opening up the past couple of seasons against the Redskins, and I do think that this will be very fun to see how Chase Young, the young Redskins rookie, does against this Eagles offensive line. But I do think that Washington will be an improved team this year, but I still think they're missing some offensive weapons, and I think the Eagles do win. This year, the Eagles play the NFC West, and they have their first NFC West opponent as they open the season hosting the LA Rams. Jared Goff, Carson Wentz, the first two picks of the 2016 draft. I think the Eagles will win this and by a lot. I think that the Rams have a lot of holes this season. There's no one on the LA offense that really scares me. And I get it, Aaron Darnold's talented, but I think this Eagles offensive line can do their best to hold him. No, week three, the Eagles play the AFC North this season, and this is their first opponent, the Bengals. I do think that the Bengals will be a fun you know, team to watch this season with Joe Burrow, T. Higgins, A.J. Green, Tara Boyd. However, I think that Cincinnati's offensive line is a huge weakness. I think players like Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham, the Eagles also brought in Jerome Hargrove on that defensive line. I think they'll over just overwhelm the Bengals, and I think the Eagles win. They then have a Sunday night game against the Niners, the defending NFC champions. I have Philadelphia winning this, and, and here's why I think this. Number one, there's no one for that 49ers core on the wide receiver side that really scares me. The Eagles brought in Darius Slay, one of the best corners in the NFL. I think he can take away some of these young wide receivers for San Fran. Linebacking-wise, the Eagles brought in Jotavis Brown, a really good player from the Chargers that can help cover George Kittle. I think this will be a very low-scoring game. But I have Philly winning this one. Um, so they start off 4-0, but I think this comes to an end as we have the Pennsylvania Bowl. Eagles, Steelers, I think the Steelers win. I think that for me that the Steelers defense is really good with TJ Watt. This is a really good secondary. I think that the Steelers secondary is a lot better than San Fran's. And I think that the Steelers secondary has the corners like Joe Hayden and crew to take away some of these speedy guys that the Eagles have in the wide receiving core. Also, the Eagles have struggled in Pittsburgh historically, I feel like, so I think the Steelers win. We then have the Tan Man Bowl, as my two favorite teams, the Ravens and the Eagles, face off in Week 6. I'm very excited for this game. I think it'll be very close. I think the Eagles win. Like I said with the Bengals, Philly has that defensive line that I think can not only, you know, really just destroy a bad offensive line. The Ravens have a great offensive line, but I think the Eagles have those pieces to contain the run. The Ravens kind of do that whole run fake. They like to run the ball, and I, the Eagles have a really good run defense, and I love the Ravens, but I think the Eagles have players to take away their wide receiving core. I think Philly wins a very close game. I'm super excited for this game. My two favorite teams, I have the Eagles winning. The Eagles will beat the Giants. I think they will sweep them this season. I think the Giants got a bit better, but they still have a couple pieces away. And then I think the Eagles will split with the Cowboys this season. I think both teams will win their home games. So, Eagles win this one. So, so far, they're one lost team until the bye week. I really like this bye week for them. 6-1. and one. I think they go to 7-1. and one. I think that this game against the Giants will be close, but I think after being rested... The Eagles win. Philly plays their last AFC North opponent of the season where they travel to Cleveland, and I have the Browns winning this. I think this will be kind of an upset game. I think first-time head coach Kevin Stefanski for Cleveland will be, you know, have enough games under his belt by the time they play Philly. And I think that the Browns have a really good defense um, in that secondary and some of these guys. I mean, the Eagles wide receiving core is very speedy. Jaron Rager, Marquise Goodwin, Deshaun Jackson. I think that the Browns have pieces to take some of those guys away, so I think the Browns win kind of an upset game. This is a tough stretch for the Eagles. In three weeks, they play Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, and Drew Brees. In my eyes, I think that the Eagles lose this game in the Doug Peterson, Carson Wentz tenure, so ever since 2016. I don't think the Eagles have ever beat the Seahawks since then. 
Even in 2017, where Philly won the Super Bowl that year, they lost to Seattle. I really like the way that the Seahawks are built. I think Seattle wins. I think the Eagles beat the Packers. I think that they brought in Darius Slay. As I said, I think he can take away Devontae Adams. There's really no other person on that um, Packers wide receiving score that really scares me a ton. I get it. Aaron Rodgers is talented. I think it'll be a close game. I just think the Eagles um, win, and that's my diagnosis with this one. I think that the Packers are also very bad at stopping the run, and I think that Miles Sanders, um, the Eagles running back, will be in his second year. I think he'll have a great season, and there's no one that really scares me or that's really, in my opinion, that great at stopping the run on that Green Bay defense. And same go, same goes with the Saints. I think that Darius Slay can take away a guy like Michael Thomas. You also have Will Parks. The Eagles brought in the former Broncos safety, Will Parks, to I think take away away some of those options. So I think for me, along that along with kind of that weak linebacking core with the Saints, I think the Eagles win. So, after that two tough game stretch against two Hall of Fame quarterbacks, I think both of these games will be close. I think the Eagles lose against Arizona. I like Arizona with DeAndre Hopkins. They have a lot of great speed and weapons. I think Kyle Murray and AZ is going to be a really good team this year. I think it will be close. But historically, the Eagles have struggled in Arizona. I said that the Eagles and Cowboys will split, so I think the Cowboys win this game. I think that the NFC East is going to be very fun to watch between Philly or Dallas. Dallas got a lot better this offseason by adding C.B. Lamb and a great draft besides that. So I think it'll be a fun division. But then they close off Week 17 against the Redskins, where I have the Eagles sweeping Washington. So overall, I have them going 11-5. and five. I think somewhere between 10-6 and 11-5 and five will work. I think that maybe they could lose to Baltimore, or they could lose to the Saints and maybe beat AZ. I, I think that this is going to be a very tough season, but a uh, tough season especially later. But the Eagles have shown the past couple of years that late in the season, when it matters, they play the best. So I think that the Eagles finish 11-5 this season. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. This has been Tam and Doing Love. See you all next time. Take care and bye-bye.